in the Battle of Normandy, uh, June through August, uh, we lost 237,000 Allied troops. The Germans had 200,000 killed and 200,000 captured. So you can see in that short period of time there was a lot going on. A lot of people being moved, a lot of equipment being moved, a lot of young men not coming home. We landed on Omaha Beach on D plus two. We knew that the casualty rate was pretty heavy the first day. Uh, we were told on the boat that we were getting ready to get in the landing craft that there were still bodies there. You were going to see uh, things you've never seen before. You'd be on one side of the hedgerow and you'd hear the German talking on the other side. Now these things were had been there for centuries. They had overgrown, they'd been built on, trees were coming out of the top of them. We were initially assigned as support for the 1st Army, 1st Division replacements. And we stayed with them until we pushed the Germans back to St. Lowe. We'd been fighting at St. Lowe for days and we were dug in with foxholes all around the edge of it. And uh, we just never could, you know, three or four days we couldn't get out of our foxhole because we just couldn't go anyplace. Uh, the Germans were making a desperate stand to hold us there, waiting for reinforcements on their part. And the Allies realized that uh, they had to break the back, so they made the decision to send these thousands of aircraft and one single bombing raid, and then for all of us to move out as soon as that raid was over with. And so we were all told to dig our foxholes deeper, which we did. And it was such a overall pattern that there was overspray. We got bombs into our areas. We had men of our, men of our units that were in direct path of bombs. After the Brest Peninsula, we were moved back through France, through to the Paris, up into Luxembourg, and we're camped out there on the Ore River. Then we're moved overnight again to the Hurricane Forest for Christmas. We were all dug in when the Battle of the Bulge happened. 